Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with one of my favorite boxes. This is for a boy, two to four, and it has something very special inside that Michelle made, and that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites. But before I show you what she made, I do want to show you this precious bear. Isn't he cute? I just love him. I found him at Home Goods. Let's see, he's a Manhattan Toys, and I'm looking at his tags Camp, Camp Acorn Bear, in case you're interested. But I found him on sale at Home Goods for $4.50, and I bought all the ones they had. So look at the back. His tail comes right through his jeans. I just thought he looked a little bit like a train conductor, so that's what I went with. So he, here is my acorn bear shoebox, and I'm gonna stand up so you can see everything better and I can reach the camera better. And um, I'm just gonna switch angles here and you can see everything else that's in the box. Okay, so here we are different a little different angle and you can see his um, this is for co just coloring plain paper I love this um, sending as much as pa much paper in the shoe boxes as I can because I loved to draw when I was growing up now in here this is just a drawstring bag it came with one of my shirts one of my shirts that I bought was in it and I thought I'm gonna save this and I'll be able to use it for Operation Christmas Child and inside is the Hobby Lobby train set that I've used for other shoe boxes before with the smile face on the engine. And it has two cars and they're connected by the magnets. And then the animals, the wooden animals I just love that can fit inside the train. The lion, the zebra. The elephant, these are, I think, $5.99 or $6.99 at Hobby Lobby. The price just went up. There's the giraffe, but I think well worth it. And this is a cheetah. So that fit nicely in this little drawstring bag. And then to go with the train conductor idea, I got him this little hat at the Gap Outlet. They are just a dollar and a big barrel of hats. So I thought that would be fun for him to wear. Here's his Dollar Tree backpack rolled all up and a little double hole pencil sharpener, his little car and train whistle and his string um, giraffe with the holes in it, so it's a lacing toy, that's what it's called. And it, I love the, the image and it's on both sides. Here's his cup with a pair of socks and a smile face ball. Let's see, there's the face. And then we're just about to my favorite thing. Here's the comb and a spoon a pair of underwear and a marker, a toothbrush with a cover, a flying disc, and here it is, the play mat that Michelle made with Minky on one side. Look at how big this is. And then on the other side, it has the scene with car, roads for the car, and a train track so that he can play with the train and the car and he can use it for um, a cuddly blanket so i was very um just thrilled i got the material um on etsy i found it and just fell in love with it and then michelle made the blankets so i just just think this is a really fun unusual thing to have in a shoe box and i had she made multiple of those so I was really really happy to have found the bear and it had the orange shirt and I that matched the blanket and it just all came together for this special shoe box. Here is his 
Uh, oil pastel crayons, there's 12 in here, nice quality. I always mention that because I had never seen those before Michelle recommended them. Here's his school supplies pouch with scissors, ruler, two nice erasers. I really love these rainbow erasers. And the ruler is a six inch wood one, but it's perfect, I think, for a child this age. And the green scissors. And then I think he has nine or 10 pencils I put in my pencil pouches and they're all pre-sharpened so they don't have to start from scratch um, with their pencils. So that's a complete pencil pouch for a toddler. And here's his composition book so he can practice writing his numbers or his letters and his bandana, which again, I thought was great to remind me of a train conductor. And here's his washcloth. And the last two things on the bottom of the box are the available on Blessings in the Shoe Box. There's his coloring book with the really soothing images. A lot of coloring books have kind of violent and, um, oh, just not suitable for toddlers. So I love that Michelle put this together for us for the toddlers to use, um, print it out and staple and use for the shoe boxes. This image, God loves you, goes along with the back that says God loves you in all those different languages. So you can go on blessingsinissuebox.com and print both of these things. This I loved, it's um, a maze book that she came up with. And the tracing the lines, it reminds me of driving the car on the tracks of the blanket. I just think it's so, so great, these beginner, writing and dot to dot images are just going to be so fun and colorful for this little boy. So that brings me to the end of this shoe box. I hope you found some ideas here and um, pray that your shoe box is, your shoe box journey is progressing, progressing and you're starting to get a lot of shoe boxes done and prepared for collection time. And my prayer, of course, for this child is that he would know Jesus Christ as Lord. He would be so excited when he opens his box that he will understand the love of God from his gift. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.